yes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is yet another Thursday night when we gather together, the whole family, we gather together for the communion service. And the communion service is a unifying service. We bring in our children, we bring in our, our friends, our relatives, and we have the communion together. Remember, the communion service, the communion is the essence of Christianity. This is the backbone of Christianity because this is what Jesus came to do, die for us and resurrect for us and take our sins away. Therefore, tonight, I want to say to you, I may not know what you are going through. I do not know what battles you are fighting. I do not know what challenges you are fighting, but I have the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord is, I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's what the Lord has said. Therefore, in your battles, the Lord is there. In your predicament, the Lord is there. And he is not there to laugh at you. He is not there to shame you, but he is there to lift you up. And the word of the Lord comes to lift you up. So even tonight, as we bring you the word of God, this is the word that will lift you up. This is the word that will cause you to rise up to the next level. I pray that you would open up your heart, open up your spirit, open up the eyes of your understanding. That has been my prayer for you, that the eyes of your understanding would be opened up and that you would know, you would know, the purposes of Christ in your life. Therefore, as you open up your heart, may you receive the word and may this word bring life to you and bring change into your situation. I want you to know, to remember this, Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Father. So as we receive the word of the Lord this night, wherever we are, as you receive the word of the Lord, let this word have effect in your life. And as we partake of the communion, let that be the trigger of your faith, that that which you have been believing God for will be manifested that God will show himself great in your situation. Some situations are difficult. Some situations are hard. But they are only difficult and hard according to our own perspective. As far as God is concerned, nothing take, takes him by surprise. Nothing is too difficult for him. Nothing is too hard for him. He is Jehovah. And he says... I am with you until the end of the time. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Therefore, Paul tells us to comfort one another with this word. So we bring you the word of comfort. We bring you the word of encouragement. We bring you the word of peace, the word of joy, the word of salvation, the word of healing, the word of deliverance. And your life will never, ever, be the same again. And to bring us the word of God tonight, I want you to know I am blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed with many, many, many sons that the Lord has given me. And the children that God has given to me, we are for signs and wonders. So as you sit there, expect your miracle. Because one of my very sons, one of my very sons, both biological and spiritual, is going to bring us the word of God tonight. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, put your hands together and let us welcome Reverend Dan Karaoke to bring us the word of the Lord. Yes, this is the day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. It's yet another Thursday where we partake of the Holy Communion. Today, uh, I want to thank Bishop for this opportunity to be the one who will be hosting and conducting you to serving the Communion. For those who are new and are uh, joining us on Facebook, on One Accord TV, and also on uh, YouTube, my name is Reverend Dan Karioki. I'm the resident pastor at the Majestic City Church, Deliverance Church, along Kangundo Road in Ruai. This is a good opportunity and moment and where we come together to partake of the communion. The Bible says, 
that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of the Father. So tonight, Thursday night, we have another opportunity where we partake of the communion. So I would want to urge you as I welcome you. First, let me thank the bishop once again for this opportunity, for allowing me to be the one leading you today, tonight, so that we can partake of the communion. So I would want to urge you, even as we get into the word of God, that set your elements ready, put your elements together, get your family uh, together so that they can be able to come partake the communion at the end of the service. At this moment, as you can see, mine is ready. It's already here. So please make sure uh, you also have yours set. Call your family together. Call your children together and have the elements set so that at the end of it all, we can be able to partake of the communion. Remember, like I said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Father. So in a few minutes, we are going to get to listening to the word of God. And as we listen to the word of God, I pray that it's going to transform your life. It's going to change you from where you are right now to where you're supposed to be. You are not of the devil. You are not of the enemy. But the enemy would want to whisper that into your ear so that you think that you are his. I want to tell you today, there is power in the communion. Even as we partake of it, as Jesus commanded us and said, let us do this in remembrance of him. So as we are partaking of the communion, my brother, my sister, we are doing this in remembrance of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because he said he ascended and he will come back again. But it, before he comes back, we have to live in this earth. And we have to do that which he commanded us to do. So get your elements ready. And for those who are joining, like I said, Facebook, uh, YouTube, and, uh, and One Accord TV, uh, uh, thank you for uh, choosing to uh, choose this channel today so that we can be able to be together even as we partake of the communion tonight. So I hope as I was speaking, you are setting your elements ready. And now we'll get into the word of God. And the, uh, at the end of it, we shall come back and partake of the communion. So as we start, I would want to uh, pray for you or let's do a prayer so that we can be able to go ahead into the world. Our Father and our God, I want to thank you for this viewer who is watching us tonight. And I pray as I bring forth your word, Lord, you're going to minister unto them. Their spirit man is going to be changed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father in heaven, I want to thank you that as we partake of the communion tonight, there we, uh, we have an understanding that there is power in the communion. And Father, even as we partake of it, we remember that our lives are going to be turned around for the better and to the glory and honor of your name. We want to thank you and to bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Let everybody say amen. Amen. Now, I want us to get into the word of the Lord. Remember, this is our year of redigging and repossessing. The Bible says in Genesis 26, verse number 18, and Isaac dug again the wells of water which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them up after the death of Abraham. He called them by the names which his father had called them. That is why we are saying that this is our era of redigging and repossessing. But having said that, I want us to get into the word of God and Tonight, my topic to you is the position of the blessings of God. The position of the blessings of God. The word tells us that God will, uh, his word will not return to him void. When his word is spoken forth, it shall not return to him void. It, uh, it shall have to accomplish that which it was supposed to be. In the book of John, chapter number one, the book of John, chapter number one, Verse 11 and 12. The book of John, verse, uh, chapter number 1, 11, he says, He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. Uh -huh. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become the children of God. To those who believe, note that, to those who believe in his name. My brother and sister, I want to tell you, 
Having read that scripture, there's something I want to understand. There are two categories of people in this earth that we are living in. Two categories of people in this earth that we are living in. Number one, they are sons or children of God. They are sons or rather children, sons and children of God. That is category number one. Number two, they are the people of God. Uh -huh. Sons of God and people of God. As I'm speaking to you tonight, where are you? Where do you stand? Are you a people of God or are you a son or a child of God? He says, as many as received him, he gave them the right to become. Have you been granted that right to become the child of God? Or rather, wewe unasema, mimi ni wa mungu. You've heard people say, sisi ni watu wa mungu. Sisi ni watu wa mungu. Lakini, sitaki tukue watu wa mungu, nataka ukue mtoto. Mtoto wa mungu. You might be listening to me. Your spouse is either a child of God, that means they are born again, or they are people of God. I pray, and my prayer tonight is at the end of this service that you will have received Jesus because I will lead you into a prayer to receive Christ into your heart. So I'll pray, and as you receive, because the Bible says, as many as received him, he gave them the power or the right to become the children, the ch uh, the children of God. So that means it's those who believed in his name. Buona if you believe in this name, the name Jesus, the man Jesus, your life can be turned around. Your life can be changed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let me remind you, my brother, my sister, the devil has not, has, doesn't have his own. He is also a created being. So, yeah, yeah, Hanawa Mutu, but he wants to lie to you because of the things that you do in life that you are his. No, 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 my friend, you are not of the devil. You are of God. You are of our Savior, Jesus Christ. My request and prayer tonight is that you receive him into your spirit, man, into, into, into your heart. And as you do so, you become the child of God. So don't listen to the lies of the enemy that you are his. Uh-uh. Wewe siwa shetani. Ambia mke wako ama watoto wako wapo. Nini siwa shetani. Nini ni wa mungu. And that is what I want you to believe tonight. When you get saved, we know that even in the famous scripture that we have read or we read, we have read it from the, uh, when we were children in John 3.16. Uh, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, mm, then we have get another word, uh, another word, believe, whosoever believes in him will not or should not perish but have everlasting life. My brother, my sister, I want to ask you, have you believed in Jesus or do you just read John 3.16 as a scripture? Read it word for word. God Love the world. He gave his only begotten that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He was the only begotten. But now when we get born again, we become other begotten, so to speak. We become his children. We become the sons of God. And as we do that, we know we have assurance that when Jesus returns, we shall meet him. And we'll go to heaven with him. Now we are saved and we become his begotten. Jesus came to reconcile us back to God after whatever happened in Eden. After Adam and Eve sinned against God. That's why Jesus had to, God had to send his son to come here on earth and be uh, uh, live with us here on earth. And as soon as we receive him, we become the children of God. Uh, when you understand the position, you live a life of victory. When you understand that position, God gives you and grants you the victory to live here on earth. You can live a stress-free life, my brother, my sister. You don't have to suffer in your sin. You don't have to struggle in whatever area that you're going through. But you can live knowing that you, ha you can have victory and knowing that you have a life of doubt and you do not have to fear. In the book of Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 41, verse number 10, the book of Isaiah 41, verse number 10, the Bible says, 
Fear not, comma. Your Bible says that as well. Fear not, and then there's a comma. Why shouldn't you fear? The enemy keeps bringing fear into our lives. I could be speaking to you tonight, and there's a lot of fear that you have in your heart. You have not even been able to move or to do anything today, but because of fear alone. My friend, let us read that scripture together. Fear not, comma. Why the comma? For I am with you. Who is with us? Our Father in heaven. Our God, the one who created you and me, he is with you. Could you believe that? Do you believe that in your heart? That is why I come to you tonight. Let me first of all read the whole scripture. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Fear not. The Bible tells us we shouldn't fear. I want us to note a few words right there. Number one, fear not. For I am with you. When you know that the heavens are backing you up, God Almighty is backing you up. You ought not supposed to fear, my brother, my sister. You are not supposed to be intimidated by anything. I know the enemy comes to bring fear. Fear in so many areas. Fears of sickness. You could be having fear. Right now you're fearing that you're going to die. You're fearing I'm going to get sick. You even touch in your heart. You say, hey, I'm nasikia malaria inakuja. And there's nothing wrong. And your body is in good and perfect health. But that is the enemy who is trying to bring fear into your life. I pray tonight as we partake the communion that that spirit of fear is going to die from the root in the mighty name of Jesus. Another word I want you to see. I will strengthen you. Uh-huh. Utapati wanguvu mpia. I will strengthen you. When God says he's going to strengthen you, he means exactly what he has said. So you, can be, you could be weak at this moment as I'm speaking to you tonight. But I pray that at the end of the service, even as you partake the communion, you will receive strength again in the mighty name of Jesus. And you will go, wake up tomorrow knowing that I am going to work. I am going to do that which I'm required to do. Because I have a new strength in the mighty name of Jesus. I will help you. The Bible says, I will help you. God is going to help you. What area of your life is it that you need help tonight? Ni wapi unahitaji msaada wa mungu? Ni wapi unahitaji mungu wa kusaidie? Ni wapi unasema usinipite? Ni wapi unalilia mungu? Unamuambia, oh Jehovah, tafadhali na itaji usaidizi wako. Watu wengine wanapotaka usaidizi. Wanakimbilia usaidizi kwa watu wengine. Kwa waganga, wengine wanaenda kuchukua kamote, wengine wanafanya mambo itakani. Lakini mungu wanakuambia kwa neno lake, mimi nitakusaidia. I will help you. Let's sing together that song. Usini pite mokozi, unisikie, unapozuru wengine, naomba usini pite. Yesu, Yesu, naomba unisikie. Unapozuru wengine, usinipite. Naomba Yesu, asikupite jioni ya leo. Lakini, hata kama tumeimba huo umbo, wimbo, wewe utakubali ya ingie ndani ya maisha yako, utakubali ya ingie ndani ya moyo wako, ili asikupite, ili anapozuru wengine, pia na wewe asikupite. Number four, ya mwisho, ama number, number three, I will uphold you, nitakushikilia. Ni wapi ungepata, ungependa mungu akushikilia? Where would you want? God to uphold you. Is it in your business? Is it in your marriage? 
Is it in your children's affair? Is it in your place of work? Where would you want him to uphold you? He's stretching out his hand and he's saying, I will uphold you with my righteous. Number, th number four or five, that is the other word, righteous right hand. God will uphold you with his righteous right hand. Our God is righteous. Our God loves you. Our God is righteous and he loves you. Will you receive him tonight even as we partake of the communion to your heart or in your heart in the mighty name of Jesus? You see, the fear of the enemy, fear is brought by the enemy so that you don't progress. That is his aim. Hataki Wendele, he doesn't want you to progress. Progress in ministry, progress in your life, progress in your marriage, progress, you know, in education. He brings fear and it says fear. Fear of death, fear of sickness, fear of heights, fear of exams. You're like, every time you want to do exam, we used to call them, you feel butterflies in your stomach. Hmm? I could be talking to you and you have an exam tomorrow. I want to say to you, go sit tight. Sit under a seat on that seat and behind that uh, table or desk, wherever you'll be. And write those answers like nobody's business and answer them correctly because fear is not your portion and you are going to come out an excellent student, an A material student in the name of Jesus. You could be going for an interview tomorrow as I'm speaking to you. I want to say to you, go with boldness, go with courage, and you will be able to pass that interview in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fear is not your portion. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Our God will strengthen you, will help you, and will uphold you with his righteous hand. Somebody said, Amen. What is your current fear? Mama, ni nini hiyo unaogopa? Mzee, ni nini unaogopa? Kijana, ni nini unaogopa? Nimekuja kukumbusha, fear is not your portion. Uh, when you why don't you stop fearing and give him, give him, give him Jesus, give him your situation. Give him your situation knowing that I will, I shall not fear. Say together with me, I shall not fear. I shall not fear. I want us to do this prayer point. And it says, every power, repeat with me, every power of the enemy, causing me not to move on with my life, I paralyze you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Any power that is causing you not to move, not to progress, not to move. Remember, I'm talking about the blessings in the position of God. When you stop fearing, you come into this position where God is involved with you, where God is connected with you. I want to say to you, just like we've said that prayer point, that every power that is causing me not to move on, I paralyze it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the book of 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter number 1, verse number 7. 2 Timothy chapter number 1, verse number 7. The Bible reminds us again, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, Hallelujah. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. My friend, just like our bishop says, you have a sound mind. You have power. Do not fear. God himself. Did you note that he did not say, for the prophet Isaiah has not given us. Or the prophet Elijah has not given us the spirit. It is God himself. Hallelujah. The creator. Mugai oria wako bidewe. Mungu ambaye alikutengeneza. Aliku, he, he, alikuumba. He breathed on you. Aka kueka roho wake ndani yake. Kwa nini unadanganyo na shetani? Kwa nini unakubali kuchezewa karata na shetani? My friend. Tukikunywa communion tonight. Break those powers in the name of Jesus Christ to the glory of God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wacha mungu na akaenda kukuongezea nguvu. Wacha mungu akaenda kukustrengthen. Katika kila hali na katika kila jambo ambalo unaenda kufanya. Siku ya leo, tunapoenda kupokea communion. Njia, uh, 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 maombi yangu wa maombi langu. Ni yati mungu akaenda kukubadilishia maisha yako. Na hata kubadilishia maisha akikupatia nguvu ambayo unahitaji. 
Jiweke, remember the story of Daniel. Wame, wame, ame kamatua, ame ambiwa usiyombe. Yeye akasema sita ingiza uoga, sita ingiza baridi. And he kept praying. At the end of it all, what happened? Akarushu andani. Aliporushu andani, akwatundu la simba. Mfalme akasema, kama umesema hauta kubaliana na sisi, tutakueka huko ndani. Daniel haku ogopa. Mm, I'm glad I'm also called Daniel. Daniel haku ogopa, alisema ni sawa. Mungu wangu yuko pandi yangu. Na hata ni wacha, hata ni pungukia. Na akarushwa pale. Aliporushwa, when he was thrown there, Mungu na ea katuma malaika, akafunga, he made sure the, uh, the mouths of the lion were closed so that the lions could not devour Daniel in the name of Jesus. So he sat there and he was cozy and sleeping and relaxing with the lions for that wonderful night. Why is that? Because he chose to stand with the word of God. I pray tonight as we partake of the communion, may you choose to stand with the word of God. May you choose to stand with what the word says that you will not fear. You will not fear. Remember I told you, you have been given the spirit, uh, you have not been given the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power. Say, I have power. And the spirit of love. Say again, I have love. And of a sound mind. I have a sound mind. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Si ukubaliane na useme ya kwamba mimi nitakuwa na nguvu na nitasonga mbele. Nitasonga mbele na sita kubali. I will not accept to fear anything in this. Even in the situation that I am currently in. As I bring this to a close, I want to tell you my viewer. That, may that word work in your life. May that word work in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Know your position in the blessings of God. You have a position in the blessings of God. Because now, you are not just a people of God. You are a child of God. And I will lead you into a prayer of repentance. So that you can be able to understand. That now you cease from being a people of God. You come into the other category where Jesus died on the cross for you. So that you could be called the child of God. And that gives you the assurance that when the trumpet sounds, we shall meet with Jehovah in the clouds. And if you died tonight, and my prayer is that you will not die. But if it happens that you are not here, you sleep you will go direct cha, to heaven and meet your creator. Could you be there? You've been listening to me tonight. And you're saying, before, pastor, before I partake of the communion, please finish up and lead me into receiving Christ into my heart. That is why I'm here tonight, my brother, my sister. Wherever you are watching, either in Kenya, either in Nairobi, either outside the world, whatever you do, Whenever we say this prayer, it does not matter the location. God in heaven will hear and will answer into your prayer. Anasikia maombi na anajibu. So, mimi nda kuongoza kwa hiyo maombi siku ya leo. Lakini, kabla ya hiyo, nda kusomea John 1, number 12, ile tulianza nayo. But as many as received him, he gave them the right to become the children, the children of God, to those who believe. Do you believe? Do you believe tonight? And if so, if you believe, that means that you accept. The Bible says you, uh, you, you, you receive him in your heart and you confess with your mouth. So now that you have received the word of God, I want to lead you into confessing Jesus as your Lord and Savior. I hope that word has worked in your life. I hope it has changed your situation. Knowing that you have not been given the spirit of fear and you will not be fearful. Whatever is leading you or is making you fear, tonight we refuse it, we paralyze it in the mighty name of Jesus. And tomorrow as you wake up going to your place of work, you are going a strong person, a victorious person, a person with strength, because God has told us he will strengthen us. That's why I told you, it is not the prophet Isaiah 
who is saying, I will strengthen. No, it is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He says, I will strengthen you. His name is God. Mungu mwenyewe anakuambia atakupatia nguvu. So, mimi nitakuja nitakuongoza kwa maombi ili tutoke hapa tunapopartake communion tutajua ya kwamba umesikia neno lake na neno lake limekubadilishia limekubadilishia maisha yako. So, jioni ya leo kama ungetaka kumpokea Yesu kama Bwana na mokozi wa maisha yako Nitaomba kwa kizungu kwa wale ambao wanatuangalia kote ili mtu ambaye hajui Kiswahili pia aweze kurudia. Na yule pia na, anajua kizungu, hopefully tutaweza kusaidiana ndio hata yeye na yeye pia aweze kuelewa. Let's say together, dear Lord Jesus. Tonight I have received your word and I have decided it to come in my heart. I receive you tonight. As my Lord and Savior. Lord, I pray that you change my life. That you change my life. That you turn my life around. In the mighty name of Jesus. I receive you tonight as my Lord and my Savior. Tonight, I refuse the enemy in the name of Jesus and to the glory and honor of your name i pray this believing and trusting in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen father i pray for this viewer who has just re uh, repeated that prayer of repentance in his life tonight jehovah i pray that lord you are going to make sure the Holy Spirit is going to put a stamp into their lives in the mighty name of Jesus that that prayer they have prayed of receiving you as Lord and Savior is going to be uh, is going to get into their heart and they are going to know you in whom to know is the gift of life I pray that Lord you sustain them Holy Spirit sustain them in the name of Jesus and I pray that Lord you're going to do a miracle in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you and I pray this believe it and trust in in Jesus mighty name Amen. Amen. Congratulations. You've just been born again. Wewe umeokoka sasa. Wewe ni wa Yesu. Wewe ni wa Yesu. Kama ungependa uh, sasa kutoka leo, you just remember you belong to Christ. Mambo ya kitambo imeisha. Dhambi zako zote umesamehewa. Haukusikia kitu sasa zile tumeomba hapana haikuangi lazima usikie kitu ni kurudia hivyo sasa uanze kuona maisha yako ikibadilika tafuta kanisa karibu na wewe ambao wanamhubiri Yesu na si kanisa kama zile zingine tunasikia za pande ile ingine tafuta kanisa nzuri ambayo inamwamini Yesu na inamhubiri Yesu ili uweze kujuana na uende waambie pasta mimi niliombewa kwa TV na nike, kama Facebook kama YouTube na nimeweza kuokoka last night then from there anza kusoma biblia siku hizi hata biblia kama uko na smartphone una download tu kwa simu unaanza kujisomea biblia si lazima ununue kale kadogo tulikuwa tunapewa kitambo anaitwa ka new testament hapana chukua biblia kwa simu yako jisome na uone maisha yako ikianza kubadilika kama ungependa kutufikia pia Nambari ya simu ya kutupigia ni 0722430330. 0722430330. Imeandikwa hapo chini kwa screen. So tupigie, tuambie hey, Pastor Dan alipokuwa anahubiri, mimi ndio niliokokea hapo. Na mimi nashukuru Mungu ya kwamba aliniongoza vizuri ili nikaweza kuokoka. Now Thank you so much. I hope that word has worked for you. I pray that if you have received also the word get in touch with us now we want to go into the next step i'm sure by now like i told you earlier you have your elements ready and i want to pray that we are going to do this tonight so that we can be able to partake of the communion so i hope you have your elements together remember the bible tells us that jesus told us do this as much often in remembrance of me so to napo partake ama kunywa communion tunakubaliana na neno la Mungu na sasa hapo ningekuambia kama mko pamoja this is where you get ready so that we can partake of the communion tonight together with your family wherever you are get your elements ready get your elements ready so that we partake of the communion together tonight 
But before I do that, I want to read the scripture in the book of Matthew. Matthew 26, verse 26. The book of Matthew 26, verse 26. I know it's in many other uh, scriptures or in, uh, uh, in the word, in the Bible, this verse. But I wanted to look at it today from the book of Matthew. The Bible says, And as they were eating, that means Jesus and his disciples, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. So this bread that I'm holding or the one you're holding back at home, it represents the broken body of Christ. He was beaten. He was chastised for our sins. He was aliwekelewa crown yamiba, alidungwa, alipigwa misumari, alipigwa mijeledi. Iyo ndiyo ina represent unapo yuma pale, ina represent broken body of Christ. Aha, continue. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, Drink from it, all of you. Tunapokunywa hii, tunakunywa hile kama damu ya Yesu, hile mwagika. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. So every time we do this, we are remembering our Lord Jesus and what he went through even at the cross. He did all that for you, my friend, for you, my brother. So as we are partake, partaking of the communion tonight, let us remember that in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to say thank you for these elements that you have given unto us. I pray, just like your word has told us, that we are doing this in remembrance of you. Father, I pray that as we are partaking of the blood, and of your body, Jehovah Father. We are doing this because we want to remember what suffering you went through at the cross. I pray, Jehovah, as we do this, our lives are going to be turned around. The viewers' lives are going to be turned around in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray this, believe it and trust it, in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let's go ahead and partake of the body of Christ. Let us partake of the blood of Christ. Father, we thank you once again because of that. Believe in your word in the name of Jesus. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Now, my viewers, it is yet another time uh, because every service cannot come or cannot be completed without an offering. I hope nowadays we have gone digital. You don't have to bring cash to church. Even on your phone, you can be able to just transact money from your account and be able to send us the, uh, the money as an offering in the name of Jesus. The Bible says God has given us, so when we are giving it back to him, we are returning. The little that he's given us, or the much that he has given unto us. So I want to urge you tonight so that we can be able to give. We have given options that I'm just about to let you know. Uh, they're on the screen, on your screen. Uh, the giving options, there's a M-Pesa number that is supposed to be there. So if you have the M-Pesa number, you can send the money to that M-Pesa number and we shall receive your offering with gladness. We shall receive your offering with gladness in the name of Jesus Christ. So uh, go ahead and do the M-Pesa transaction. Uh, the options, like I said, are on the screen and we are going to pray uh, to be glorified. Uh, we are going to receive it and we shall give God all the glory and honor uh, to his name. Now, I want also to invite you to our Sunday services. Today is Thursday. So you can be able to come Friday, Tayenda, Kesho, Saturday, Sunday in church. Na mapema your best. If you're able to come, 
that will be very good. Mapema ni your best. Sunday service zetu zinaanza pale House of Bread KPCU building. The first service starts at 8 a.m. If you want, if you're in town or if you're along uh, uh, Haile Selassie Avenue, that's where House of Bread is located, KPCU building. Karibu na wakulima uh, marigiti, soko ya marigiti, hapo ndani, di utakuja na service yetu ya kwanza inaanza sa mbili asubuhi. Tuko na ibada ya pili. Ibada ya pili nayo inaanza sa tano. So you have option. Wale wanalala, wanataka kufanya mapema ndiyo best, wanakuja saa mbili ya subuhi mapema, wanamaliza, wanaenda shuguli yao. Wewe wakataka kuongezea kulala kidogo, unakuja saa tano, 11, the second service starts. That is at the location of the uh, Marigiti, at the house of uh, uh, Deliverance Church, House of Bread. Tafika pale, utaubiriwa, tapata neno, uh, askofu wetu utakueko pale na ataweza kupatia neno. Uh, tuko na ibada, tuko na kanisa lingine pia, pale Kangundo Road. Kangundo Road, pahali panaitua uh, Stage 26. Stage 26, hapo ndiyo na kanisa ingine naitua The Majestic City Church. Majestic imezaliwa na House of Bread. So, tuko pale, hapo na wangu kutakuja, tunaanza sab, uh, ibada yetu. We start our service at 10.30 a.m. Sa nne na nusu. Niko hapo, utanipata hapo, baadae askofu watakuja, anatu, ana, ana, anaendelea na ibada, akisha toka HOB, anakuja pale, ili tunafanya ibada pamoja. So, siku ya leo, naomba, utaeza kuchagua kama utakuja ukiwa kangundo road, ama area kama hiyo ya ruai na pule kuingine, pale majestic, saine unusu, kuja utuambie, mimi nilisikia church, nilisikia, niliona TV, na nilikunyo, nilikuwa kwa communion, na nikabadilisha maisha yangu, ndiyo niko hapa. Tuta kusaidia, tutaendelea na wewe kwa hii safari. Mungu akubariki sana, ni nafurahia, ni mefurahia, I'm really excited, I'm really glad to have shared that word of the Lord with you, our viewers. And I pray, just like we said, let your life be turned around. Let your life be turned around in the mighty name of Jesus. And re believe that I will not fear. Wake up tomorrow, square up your shoulder like our father says, and go and look at the mirror. The first thing after you wake up tomorrow, and tell your name, and, and tell the person you see in the mirror, fear is not my portion, and move on with faith, and see the life and your life turning around in the name of Jesus. I want to say thank you. Thank you for having time to listen to me. Thank you for allowing your family to be with you together even as we partook of the communion. I want to say thank you until we meet again next Thursday. We want to say thank you and to bless your name. Keep tuning and keep being with us. Let me say a prayer for you even as we finish. Our Father, we thank you. Thank you for this viewer. Thank you for the us partaking together of the communion. I want to pray that, Lord, you're going to strengthen them. They are going to know that they are not going to have a fearful life and they know their position in the blessing of God. I want to pray, the Lord, as they wake up tomorrow, Father, they shall find strength and knowing that our God and Savior is upholding me in my, in, in, in my right hand. Father, I say thank you. And I bless your name because of a new thing that you are doing in, the, in, div, uh, in this viewer's life. I pray that there is going to be a turnaround in the mighty name of Jesus. And that Lord, you are going to continue giving them strength in each area that they need strength from you. I bless you and I thank you for this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Santi sana, kwa kunisikiza, kwa kuniangalia, tuandikia vile nimekuambia na kuweza kuwa nasi pamoja. Ciao, ciao, and thank you. God bless you. Bye for now.